Okay, so this is a continuation of chapter 14, Acids and Bases. This is for Gen Chem 2. We're only going to cover two pages today, and that will be calculating pH of weak acids and bases. So in this first problem, it says, what is the pH of 25 milliliters of 0.25 molar solution of acetic acid? So the first thing that you have to realize here, there's only one thing in solution, so the 25 milliliters is a distractor. That's not necessary for us to solve the problem. Now, remember, you have to figure out what the major, major species are in solution. So you have acetic acid, which is a weak acid, so you...
So methanoic acid is going to be HCOOH. So let's look at what's going on here. Again, we can write a reaction, HCOOH, and that's a weak acid, methanoic. It's going to dissociate into H plus plus COOH minus. What do we have going on? Again, let's look at major species. This is water. So the Ka for methanoic acid or formic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. When you compare that to water, as I just said, Kw equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14, you can see that this is larger and therefore this is going to be the main contributor to the H concentration so we don't have to worry about the water in this case. So we set up our ice table. Our initial concentration is 0.325. There is no concentration of the H ion and the COH minus. This is going to be minus X. This is going to be plus X, plus X, 0.325 minus x, x, and x. So if we set up a reaction, we know that this is going to be Ka equal to H plus over COOH minus over HCOOH. Therefore, my Ka is going to be equal to x squared over 0.325 minus x. So we need to have our solver. We're going to put this in our solver. And again, um, you're going to have 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4 times 0.325 minus x minus x squared equals and then take 10% of your initial concentration, so 0 0.0325 alpha solve, and x equals um, x equals point zero point zero zero seven six. Now, I didn't ask you to solve for the pH in this solution, so um, we're going to do it anyway, just for good practice. So pH is equal to the negative log of the H concentration and we know that 0 0.0076 is our H concentration. So our pH is equal to 2.12. So that was just extra. What they're asking for is percent dissociation. So again, percent dissociation is going to be part over whole times 100. So we're going to wind up with, for our percent D, I'm going to make that just as percent dissociation is going to be 0.0076 over 0 0.325 times 100. And your percent dissociation is 2.3%. Okay. In the next one, in C, it's asking us to calculate the pH of a solution that contains one molar cyanic acid and one mole and five molar excuse me nitrous acid and we have to figure out again what is going to be the major contributor of the H ions so we need some Ka values in order to solve this so the first thing that we're going to do is get the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the Ka's for everything that we've got involved so we've got the Ka of HCN which is equal to 6.2 times 10 to the negative 10 and I'm just getting that off the chart and I'm getting the Ka of H so this is HCN this is the Ka of HNO3 put this right here HCN, HNO3, which is going to be 4 times 10 to the negative 4. And then, of course, we have to consider water. And the Kw of water is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So we can, by looking at our Ka's and our Kw's, we can see very readily that 
HNO3 is going to the, be the major contributor of H plus ions, which should make sense because if you know your strong acids, you know that nitric acid is a strong acid compared to cyanic acid, which is weak. So knowing that, we can go ahead and we can set up a Ka equation. So Ka equals 4 times 10 to the negative 4, which is going to equal, it would help if I wrote a reaction. Let me do that right below. We've got HNO3. We've got a one-way arrow here because it's a strong acid. It's going to completely dissociate. So into H plus and NO3 minus. Okay, so again, our Ka expression then would be the concentration of H plus times the concentration of NO3 minus over the concentration of HNO3. So now that we know what our equation looks like, we can go ahead and continue with our ice table. We know that our initial concentration is 5 molar. The initials of these are 0. And we know that probably, most likely, our HNO3 is going to be 0 at the end, but we don't know 100%. So this is going to be minus x. This is going to be plus x, plus x. And this can be 5 minus x, x, x. So if we were to substitute in over here, we've got Ka equals 4 times 10 to the negative 4 equals x squared over 5 minus x. I'm going to put this in my solver. I'm going to put this in my solver. And I'm going to put 4 times, I'm going to put this in my solver, and I'm going to get 4 times 10 to the negative 4 times 5 minus x minus x squared equals, and then I'm going to put in 10% of my initial concentration, which is going to be 0.5 alpha solve. x equals 0 0.045, which again, obviously, is my H concentration. So pH equals the negative log of the H concentration. So negative log of 0.045, and my pH is equal to 1.35, which is a pretty strong acid, which makes sense because HNO3 is a strong acid. If I got a pH of 5.6, I'd be questioning my math. All right, in the second part of this question, they want us to calculate the concentration of the cyanide ion in solution at equilibrium. Well, very similar. So we'll, we'll label this number one, we'll label this two. So this is one, and this is two. So we know that our cyanic acid has a K of 6.2 times 10 to the negative 10, and our expression is gonna be very similar. It's going to be equal to the H concentration times the CN minus concentration over the HCN. Now, we already know what the H concentration is in solution because remember they're all in the same solution and we know that the only H contributor in this solution came from the nitric acid. So knowing that, we can substitute in. We've got 6.2 times 10 to the negative 10 and this is going to be equal to, we said, um, 0 0.045 times the concentration of CN minus, which is what we're trying to find. And we know the initial concentration of HCN, they told us it was one molar. So we're basically rearranging. We're gonna take our Ka, times it by one, divide by 0 0.045, and we get a CN minus concentration equal to 1.4 times 10 to the minus eight molar. And notice that this is very, very small compared to the initial concentration of the cyanic acid, which was only one molar to begin with. And what that means is, is that minuscule amounts of the cyanic acid actually dissociated, which makes sense because it is very weak compared to the nitric in solution. Okay, these are the last two problems we're gonna do in this lesson and then there'll be one more lesson in this unit. Strong versus weak in this first solution. We've got 25 mils of 0.25 molar nitric and we've got 25 mils of 0.25 
molar nitrous. Remember, when you have strong versus weak, strong wins every time. That should be a no-brainer. So, there is a glitch though, not a glitch, there's something that they try to get you on on this. We know right off the bat that nitric is going to be the major contributor of H, okay? We already know, we looked at it in the last problem, water is 1 times 10 to the negative 14, can't come near nitric, which is Ka of 4 times 10 to the negative 4. However, you have to realize that the nitric is not 0.25 molar because you took that nitric and you mixed it with another 25 mils. So if you had 25 mils of 0.25 molar and now you mix it with another 25 mils, that's essentially 0.25 molar over 50 mils, which gives us 0.125 molar. So you have to cut the molarity in half. So essentially you've got 0.25 molar divided by 50 mils, which is going to give us a molarity of 0 0.125 molar. And that's, that's the, the problem. That's the, the key to getting this problem right. So let's set up our ACE table. We have HNO3, one arrow. It's going to dissociate into H plus, NO3 minus. Remember our initial concentration is 0 0.125. We have no initial concentration of H and NO3 minus. This is minus X, minus X, minus X, 0.125 minus X, X, X. So Ka equals 4 times 10, the negative 4, which equals X squared over 0.125 minus X. Put this in your solver and then you will get x equal to point basically point 0.125 because it's a strong acid and it completely dissociates so then your pH is going to be negative log of point 0.125 which gives you a pH equal to 0 0.903. Okay, what is the pH of a 0.25 molar solution of NH3? So we're switching things around here now. NH3 is a weak base, so we're not dealing with Ka's, we're dealing with KB's. If you look up the KB of ammonia in the chart down below on your paper, it says it's 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, which should sound familiar because that was also the Ka for formic acid. And we have water. Um, the Kw of water is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So we know that the Kb is greater than the Kw, so therefore we're looking at using only Kb as the contributor for the OH ions. So when we write our reaction, it's going to be NH3, and I'm going to write it as HOH, so you can see what's happening here instead of H2O. And this is going to go both ways because it's weak, so you're going to form NH4 plus and OH minus. Now, remember, we're no longer solving for the H concentration, concentration, we're solving for the OH minus concentration, and our pOH will be the negative log of the OH concentration, and then to find our pH you have to subtract it from 14. So our initial concentration was 0.25. We don't care about water, okay, it's a liquid, and this is 0, 0, minus x, plus x, 0.25 minus x, x, x. So when I write my Kb, my Kb is going to be 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, which is going to be the x squared over 0.25 
minus x. I didn't write the actual equation for this. Kb would be equal to the concentration of NH4 plus times the concentration of OH minus over the concentration of NH3. When I put this in my solver, when I put this in my solver and I solve for x, I get x equal to 0 0.0021 molar. Remember you're taking 10% of your initial before you hit alpha solve. So from that I can find my POH. My POH is equal to the negative log of my OH minus concentration. So essentially that's the negative log of of 0 0.0021 which gives me a POH equal to 2.68. So you know that POH plus H equals 14. So 14 minus 2.68 is going to give me my pH equal to 11.32. And that's that problem. Okay, last problem, real short. What is the pH of a mixture of 0.25 molar KOH and 0.25 molar CH3NH2? Guys, by this point it should be obvious. KOH is strong. NH, CH3NH2 is weak. Strong versus weak. Strong wins every time. So, I know that there's going to be 100% association. It's KOH, one arrow, K plus, OH minus. I don't even have to really technically write an ice table for this because I know that at initial this is going to be 0.25 molar, this is going to be 0, 0, and this is going to be basically 100% um, dissociation. So this is going to be 0, so this is going to be minus 0.25, this is going to be plus 0.25. Okay. So this is really what's happening here. I don't even need to write an ice, ice table. All I know is that my, oh, except for, almost got caught in the trap. See, had you on my bandwagon. I put strong in weak, 25 mils of strong in 25 mils of weak. So this is just like problem D. I've got 20.25 mil molar and it's got to be divided by 50 mils. So my molarity is going to be 0.125 molar. So let me correct this here. You need to understand why this is 0.125. So all of this should be 0.125. I got carried away. Probably because there's students in here distracting me. All right, so POH is equal to the negative log of the OH concentration. So it's going to be POH equals negative log of 0.125. And that's going to give me a POH of 0 0.9. Therefore, my pH 14 minus that is equal to 13 point 10 so 13.1 and that's my answer okay there's one more lesson in this unit but this will be enough to get you started on the next problem set